welcome back to felix art world hello to all the creative minds out there today i am going to do a pour on this mermaid and first of all i did some sanding off camera to take off some of the glaze on it and so that the gesso will adhere to the shape of this ceramic sculpture so i'm applying thin layers of this gesso because if you go heavy it's gonna slide right off of it i did a total of three layers on this piece wait and waited for it to dry it up to move on to the next step now in this session i'm painting several canvases and i have this canvas on the bottom to trap all the paint that's gonna fall off this piece and furthermore on the bottom of the canvas i have plastic so that the paint that falls on the plastic i will be reusing that on the next piece and that's another video that i'm still working on it but once it's ready you can find it here anyhow now i am covering the canvas with a bit of white so that it's going to be ready for the, the falling paint on it and that way I can just move right on to it. Now I just need to apply some of the white paint that it's already pre-mixed with Floetrol. It's one part paint, two parts Floetrol. And this particular one didn't need water. It was runny enough. It had the desired consistency. If you are rather new to this type of um, arts and crafts, I recommend that you watch this video right here and it will show you how to mix because you have um, like craft paints that are already quite fluid. You don't wanna over mix those with too much flow troll and the ones that have a soft body it, it's a different slightly different way of mixing it so i will show you i do show you that on that video on a basic mixing paint video okay so now i'm ready to start and the colors i'm using is tallow blue turquoise like a neutral turquoise metallic turquoise and magenta now and my white of course and that's how i'm gonna start so we're gonna move quick through here i'm gonna switch to time lapse to save some time Alrighty, it's ready. My dirty cup is dir um, dirty enough, <laughs> so um, this is the, the the most exciting part doing the pour. I love it. It's just like a meditation to see how the colors are playing together.
then making sure it gets coverage underneath and uh, hard to get places and it's ready i think i'm gonna leave it alone let it dry and if it needs any more paint after it's dried i will go ahead and do that but for now i think it's, it's good just gonna let it dry and the next step will be to work on her hair another option is doing the whole mermaid of with the same dirty cap that's another option there's many ways you can approach this now beforehand i prepare the rack where it will be drying and the space where it's gonna go in my studio so it's not interrupted by cat dogs children flies well that's another story but anyway it, it should be safe and if you want to watch the video on how this piece ended up or the process for it you just go to the link right here all right it's nice and dry and i'm ready to start with her hair her hair is going to be slightly different same colors but i want to see more turquoise as opposed to so much blue So on this dirty cup, I have a little bit of white turquoise, metal turquoise, metallic turquoise that is, and a tiny little bit of blue. And I omitted the magenta, no magenta in this case. I didn't tape her up because her face would be hard to tape I just didn't want to spend all that time on it it can be done but it's time consuming so I decided you know what I'm just gonna brush off the paint with a wet brush and clean it up that way and you can see though the, the face still has some paint but that's easy to cover with white paint I'll just do a coat of two of white or even the skin tone that I'm gonna use. It will easily cover it. Her hair is done. And as you can see on the bottom, I, I have paint and I'm gonna save that and use it for either jewelry or for collage let it dry as well and reuse it um, saving and using as much paint as possible i could even move this around and well i'd rather that mess around with it i have more paintings to work on anyhow so here i am trying to get the first layer of skin tone i decided to go with white skin why because it's easier to mix it's easier to get that tone and there's too much uh, white there so I'm gonna cover it I'm gonna try to paint it with blue and I use this um, detailed brush for her fingers to do her fingers All right, her skin is dry, everything's dry. Now I'm gonna work on that white spot right there. I don't know why it's begging me. 
and in her hair i'm gonna add some like not highlights but highlights all right so it started with this blue and it wasn't looking at too good i didn't like how it looked so i decided to go with a clean pour well not really clean um yes it was clean it was i i applied one color at a time first the turquoise then a little bit white then a little bit of blue and i just play with it until i was happy and now her hair i added magenta and it looked ugly so i erased it with a q-tip a wet q-tip so i decided to go with a clean pour one color at a time and controlling the way it slide down her hair and that was the easiest and more effective way of doing this adding these changes and here she is all nice and dry i even added shells to her uh, chest and and i think i'm happy with it i think i like it and this is the 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 canvas she was sitting on at the beginning all finished well not all, all finished i'm actually gonna add some changes to it but i'm not sure what exactly that's for another video all right well thank you everyone for watching thank you for your time and attention and I'm hoping this gave you some ideas so that you can repurpose some of the decorations you have around your house. Uh, it will be a beautiful gift for a loved one. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so. And if you have, thank you, thank you so much for your support and for being part of this community. Thank you. Bye-bye.